Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, um, and we're specifically going to talk about, um, in my humble opinion, you can uh, set a path to stop playing Dungeons and Dragons and begin using Dungeons and Dragons to improve yourself. Today we're going to talk about the POHEC, the Path of Optimal Human Exploration by Class, and the class we're going to look at is Monk. All right, so basically, excuse me. You have this position where um, you can use classes in Dungeons and Dragons to explore elements of humanity. The element of humanity that monk is best used to explore is dedication. The monk, more than any other class, shows us that if we ded our, dedicate ourselves to learning specific forms, we can use our mind and our body to do things that we could only otherwise do with tools. So the first and foremost thing that monks do is they're able to use their body without a weapon. They're able to use their, fa their, their hands, their feet, their head, their torso, pretty much any aspect of their physical form can be used like a weapon, right? Any other class, if they attack with their, if they attack with their body, it does subdual a D4, right, damage. Uh, the monk is not like that. You can, a monk can be completely unarmed, right? Um, you can you you know you can encounter a monk who is completely unarmed, and that monk can fight you the same way a knight can fight you, right? And deliver blows and damage to you, right? Now this is only done through dedication. The monk dedicates themselves. They're not actually using. They are dedicating themselves to learning specific forms, right? And then those forms allow them to transform themselves, their own physical human forms. And to use those human forms in ways that truly are uh, that allow them to do things without tools that could only normally done be done with tools. This is huge, right? So how do we how do we explore the human element of dedication through monks, right? So one of the things is we all have things we want to achieve, right? And um, and it might be writing a book, it might be uh, completing a degree. It might be learning um, a language, all kinds of different things, right? And we and we try to do these things, but we often fail. And one of the reasons why is we lack dedication, right? So one of the things that, that playing a monk does is it allows us to see what someone who has already gone down the path of dedication can do through dedication. And, you know, so when you start with a monk, you, you immediately have the ability to use your own body to recreate effects that only tools could generally create, right? And so that, that's a really big, uh, significant benefit that you gain as a monk, right? But it doesn't stop there. As you play the monk, you see how much more and more powerful they are as they continue to iterate, repeat, it, uh, repeat these forms that allow them from masters that allow them to do these incredible feats. And so we see the value of dedication, right? And we see the progression of dedication, right? And one of the things too is, with, you know, so all adventurers learn in different ways. But with the monk, there is this natural, traditional, historical aspect of how do I continue to learn, right? And generally that's done through masters, right? And again, as you are interacting with the, and as you are interacting with the narrative canvas that the dungeon master sets down, you can, you know, talk to the dungeon master about your about past incidents in your training, how you learned from these specific masters, how lessons are passed down, and then also you can explore how do you advance, right, your your mastery of martial arts, right? Well, one of the ways is through these masters, and again, Dungeons and Dragons allows us to ask questions and do experiments of. How do we find the masters we follow? This is this is incredibly important, right? You want to make the you want to do these achievements. You want to apply dedication in what you're doing. But whose teachings do you follow, right? And the monk more than any other class allows this to be explored. Allows the questions and experiments we have around this critical critical human aspect, dedication, right? Um, like really setting ourselves to learning through repetition, right? And and we answer the questions and we run these experiments on which masters we follow and exactly how we dedicate ourselves to achieve certain goals over long periods of time. And 
How dedication can allow us to do things that will amaze ourselves and amaze others. Monk is used to explore the human aspect of dedication. Right? Uh, that's my opinion. What's your opinion? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.